Hello everyone, welcome back. So if you would like to see how I achieved this look today using the crochet method, please stay tuned. <laughs> hey <laughs> so i'm back today i'm about to show you guys how to do a crochet tracks you know you normally you normally take weave to put tracks in your hair but for me when i want to link on lengthen on my pink, pixie cut i use crochet i use braids so this is what you will need you will need polycolon braids Whatever brown or braids you choose to use is up to you, but you will need color color braids. If your hair is not straight and it's curly, then you get a curly braids to suit um, your hair. You will need a comb. You're going to need a latch hook. And you will need scissors. So first of all, you will determine where you want your pad to be, whether you want a side pad or you want a center pad. Today, I'm going to do a center pad for you all. So I'm just going to pat out right here. And this is going to be my leave out. This is my leave out. And then I'm gonna take some rubber bands and I'm just gonna go ahead and keep that section out of the way. So this is gonna be my center right here. Okay, so then I'm gonna go around my hair. like this and do my leave out for the sides of my head so I'm ready section of this side and now I am sectioning up this side and I'm gonna continue sectioning up my hair and just before I get ready to plait, I'm gonna come back and show you how I plait my hair. So I went up, I went about and off camera, and I decided to plait my hair how I supposed to do it. <laughs> So this is my braiding pattern and um, as you can see I have one, two, three and I'm about to do my fourth row right here and it starts from two ends. If you notice I start from two ends. I didn't plait a curtain row we'll go right across and I start it from each end. And if your hair is as short as, as, short as mine, then rubber band will be your best friend. <laughs> okay. So I went, to, I went ahead and I take some braid in here. And you want your braids about that small. It's supposed to be very small. This amount of hair. If you don't know how to braid a con roll, a can roll, then you need to, you could also just flat twist it, but I am braiding a can roll. So I'm going ahead and I am plaiting. Right, so when you're reaching the center of your head now where the, where the other one ends, 
you're going to pick up the other one and add it into your braid just like I'm doing I'm just going to plait it down a little just a little past where my hair ends like this and I'm going to take some weave a, and weave a needle and some thread and I'm just going to sew up my my braid So you're going to take your scissors and you're just going to cut right where your hair stops, just over there. And and then you're just going to sew up both sides. I'm gonna do the same thing up here and continue finishing sewing up my ends right here. Right, so, so braiding pattern is done and we are getting ready to apply all our color cologne hair. So of course, you determine what length you want. So I'm going to cut this here in half right here. And then I'm going to cut this in half. So now that this is done, I'm just going to take small amounts of hair and I'm going to Crochet it, crochet it into my hand. I'm going to be back to show you when I reach the top. So now that I am at my one before my last row, my top row up here, I wanted to show you all how I curved my canner right here. The reason why I went up like this and then across is because I want my hair to fall downwards towards my face because i'm doing a center part and i don't want it to be falling just just plain come down on my face like if i did not do that it would have just been falling like right here just right there but doing the curve right here caused your hair to fall exactly like this and i'm just going in with small pieces of hair like this 
and as you can see the hair the ends is blunt at the moment but I make my ends thin like this I strip it like this and it's all even and when you crochet in your hair never push your pin upwards because your hair does not lie as flat you don't lay down as flat if you push it from on top and you pull pull it up like this your hair will always always lay down flat always lay down just flat enough for you but if you push it from the bottom here it will not lay as flat And I'm only doing two knots and I'm pulling it upwards and open just to tie it in so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my top row and I'm gonna be back just before I complete my top top row to show you just a little bit more okay so I'm almost done and I have about two more or three more to do on top so of case again I'm taking smaller amounts of hair especially when you are in the front of your hair on the top of your hair you want small amounts of hair like this and you're going to take your latch hook and you're going to push it from the top go down don't be too rough with your hair just take your time and pull through and then you're gonna I always pull it like this to tighten the knot just a little bit more and this is my rubber band while I was going I was taking out the rubber band so all you do doing is just taking off your rubber band from your hair and that's about it it's a light like on really flat again small amounts of hair it's blunt and then you pull just like this so you can get it tapered fine where you put in your and then you go through and you do two I have a bent. Got one here. I have one here. Right here, so I have already finished my crochet, finished crocheting my hair now. So I'm about to take off the rubber band and finish up my hairstyle. And as you can see, it looks just like yours. It's flowy, it's airy. If you're walking and the breeze blow, it's not obvious that it's not yours. <laughs> So now I'm about to flat iron my hair just to blend it in with the weave. Sorry, the crochet. <laughs> it looks like weaves, right? You look like weave, right? You look like 100% weave.
So I'm going to go ahead and flatten off my sides and come back. So now I'm going to take my razor comb and I'm just going to simply layer the front of the hair bit. You could take a scissors if you want to and do the same thing. But today I prefer to use the razor comb, so I'm just going to go ahead and just this. Then I'm gonna take my flat iron and just give my hair a little flat iron out. So I already called this side, as you can see. I already called that side and i'm about to finish call that side so you can see and i'm not doing no um call i'm just simply just pressing the hair down and just giving it a click in the bottom just like this So I'll be back when I'm finished. Okay, so this is it. All finished, complete. So from the whole pack of hair end up using half of the half of the braids. Well a little less than half of the braids. And this is the complete look. It's light, it's flawless, it's easy to handle. You do whatever you want with it. No, you could um, braid it and dip it in some hot water because it's color cologne here, or you could use the flat iron like what I have. I was using to flat iron it because it can take up to, I think, to twenty heat. Um, yeah, so you could go ahead and do that. As you can see, it's movable, and it feels like if it's your hair right there. Um, so thank you guys for watching and stay safe, stay blessed, stay positive and enjoy your all day.